How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today we're going to be doing a review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, Samsung's brand new flagship. And I've skipped the unboxing just because everybody knows what's included with these devices normally. So let's get right into the device. Let's take a look around this beautiful Note 5. On the left hand side you can see here we have the volume up and the volume down. And it's got this nice rounded edge here on the back, which is really cool. And the device is wrapped in this nice aluminum uh, frame, which gives it a very premium look. On the bottom, we have the headphone jack, which is a little unusual, just being that it's on the bottom. Then you have your micro USB charging port right there in the center. Your speaker, which is one facing down, which is kind of a bummer. I love front facing speakers. And then obviously the S Pen right here, which does eject and go back in really smoothly and love the new button feature. On the left hand side, this beautiful body continues and you have your power button. Power button is very nicely placed. You can reach it quite well with your thumb. And really that's what's important, right? The top of the device is very plain Jane as it were. Uh, you do have a mic pickup and a SIM card slot that you have to eject with an ejection tool that does come with the device as well comes in the packaging the back is made up of gorilla glass 4 and yes being that it's glass and has these nice rounded edges it does not have a removable back or a removable battery or for that matter a removable sd card which is kind of a bummer um honestly i liked it on the note 4 and i'm sad that they went away from that even though the primo look of this device is really really good so besides that, we also have the 16 megapixel camera right here on the back with an LED flash and of course the Samsung logo. The display is beautiful and is a super low mold display. It measures in at 5.7 inches, has a PPI of 518, and it's just really, really solid. Loving it. Very nice slim bezels on the side. On the bottom, we do have a fingerprint scanner which works excellently you'll see here in the review and on the top you have a 5 megapixel front facing camera which is really rock solid when it comes down to processing power this thing is a beast has an exynos 7420 which is two quad core cpus one clocked at 1.5 gigahertz and a second one clocked at 1.2 gigahertz also comes in a couple varieties of 32 gigs of internal storage or 64 and yes this does have 4 gigs of RAM. Loving it. This is like a computer here on a phone. It's awesome. Alright guys, let's check out the software that comes with the Note 5. So first of all, these are your home screens. I set up that one already. I'm going to be using this as my daily driver here shortly. Um, you know, pretty standard stuff. You do have your pull downs right here. Get rid of some notifications. You can come in here and edit your quick toggles. Just standard stuff. Um, don't see anything really too new or unusual in here. Here's where you're going to turn on and off your quick uh, connect and S finder. So normally they're going to be right up here. See the two? They actually launched one of them. If you don't want them up there, that's how you can turn them off. I really don't like them up there myself, so I already had them turned off because I was tinkering with this phone. Then we're just going to settings really quickly. And yes, there is quite a few settings in here. You can see all your Wi-Fi and mobile stuff, data stuff. Here's your NFC and payments. So you can turn this on right here. Tap and pay features are all right here in settings. You do have some S Pen features. So air commands, air view, um, direct pen inputs, all these different cool things you can turn on. S Pen Power Saver, sounds and vibrations. So there's quite a, quite a bit right here. This is the one that I like to turn on. It's really cool. It's called Screen Off Memo, and I'll show you to you later. We just want to cover the rest of these settings. You do have motions and gestures and just really nice cool so palm swipe captures your screen so I'm gonna implement that really quick and just show you one so basically what you do is you just swipe your hand across the screen it's hard to do on camera let's try it like this there it goes you guys see it so that's a really awesome feature I really like that I use it all the time and there's my screen capture so 
Um, really nice. Definitely digging that. So very cool. Motion gestures are neat. I especially like the swiping for a screenshot. That's probably my favorite. Um, other than that, you have some themes. A couple here. You can go into Theme Store and download others. Again, huge props to Samsung for putting a theme engine in here. Um, it's not really a theme engine. It's more just themes, but still really nice. Definitely liking that a lot. You do have easy mode if you want to turn that on. It's kind of like really lame interface, but you can do it if you want. You have your battery information, battery usage, some details about it, show power on um, show power on status bar, so you can show your percentage up there. See it? So I like that. I like to be able to see what my uh, battery life is. Again, this is the 32 gig model, but it looks like available is very little. Believe it or not, which is kind of hilarious. So after I installed some applications, some other basic stuff I did, I've got about 20 gigs left. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. So if you need a lot of space, since you don't have the micro SD card, you're going to want to definitely go ahead and get the 64 gig model. Other than that, we're going to go in here to About Device, just show you the software information. So right here is Android 5.1, which is Lollipop. Could show you the Easter egg, but it's kind of boring. I've done it 100 times. Um... Yeah, basic information here, Knox, all that good stuff with Samsung. So, very cool, very cool. You do have your multi-window here, or show you all of your different um, applications you've been running. And then if you want to use multi-window, you can do it. You can tap right here. And there it did uh, YouTube up there. And then let's say you want to get another one. You can pick any of these. So I'm going to go into files just for showing you. And here's a nice, easy-to-use multi-window functionality, which is really cool. And you can go up with it. You can go down with it. And you should be able to go all the way down. Oh, there, I made it a small window. So you can probably take that whole window around. You should be able to. Yeah. So there's a lot you can really do with multi-window. That's pretty cool. Bring it back down to the bottom. Yeah, so if you hold on it, it shrinks it into its own little window. Then you can close it out. So, pretty neat. Um, Multi-Window's nice. That's actually a lot cleaned up since the last time I've used Multi-Window. Um, applications, these are some of mine in here already, but just if you want to see the app drawer. It does come with a whole bunch of Microsoft stuff pre-installed, so I don't know what that's about. But if you want it, it's here. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Note 1, OneDrive, and does give you 100 gigs of free storage on uh, Note 1 Drive, which is, I guess, okay. Um, social media stuff pre-installed, a couple things, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, some tools, Samsung Gear, Files, Scrapbook, obviously your Google applications right here, or some of them anyway, I've moved some of them out of there, and all the standard Samsung kind of bloatware, I guess, and then some things I've installed, but um, yeah, not too bad, standard uh, Samsung device when it comes to the applications. Now, Besides that, let's go off ahead and show you guys the S Pen, because it's pretty cool. The S Pen now comes in and out with a click of a button. Click, click, and you guys can see it right there. Then you can easily grab it and slide it out. It's actually not super easy, but then you get your... Oh, that's cool. I pushed it back in. Let's pull it back out again. It's the sensor is going off, so it automatically launches your stylus options right here. And you have your uh, S Pen. It does have this nice little. I feel like it feels like a real pen, which is really kind of cool because it clicks and then you know, clicks. And then obviously you have your little button like you did before, which actually launches this. See, you can click the little button on the pen and it'll launch those windows open and shut. And anytime the S Pen's out, it has this little feature with this little icon. Which is okay, but you can um, throw it in the trash if you don't want it up, um, or you can tap it and it should go ahead and launch yeah your s pen features or you can drag it somewhere else like you kind of saw that already if you hold down on it you can you know put it basically wherever you want it so not not too bad but i mean what's funny is i mean you don't really need it because you just you just use the button on the on the pen and it launches it also so it's kind of to me used twice i guess you could say it's like it's like a feature you don't necessarily need let's put it that way but it's there. All right. So besides that, you can see you've got all these other features in here that are pretty cool. Your S notes, your screen write. Screen write's awesome. I love this because you can just tap it, takes a screenshot, and then it goes ahead and already sets it up to write. So 
high, you know. You can write root junkie or root whatever. So anyway, that's kind of cool, and I like it. You can come up here, and you can go into erase and erase that stuff. So pretty neat. Um, save, share, all that stuff's right here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and discard it. So besides that, let's show you some of these other ones. Um, smart selects, pretty nice action memo. Let's actually do another screenshot, but let me show you one that's really cool. So we're going to go into um, settings and we're going to do a screenshot here because this is kind of neat and shows off some of the functionality of this new screen scrolling, scrolling capture feature. So you can see right down here, I can hit scrolling capture. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep taking screenshots and scrolling down every time I do this, which is just awesome. All right, so that's as far as it goes. So then we're going to hit done. And there you go. So oh, I don't want to draw on it. <laughs> Erase that. But I am going to go ahead and save it. Save in gallery. And then you should be able to go into gallery and just go ahead and view it, which is pretty cool. So let's go into my gallery. Here's it is, and there you go. So you can see you get the whole settings in one screenshot. It's really awesome. Got to say I love it. I absolutely love it. Comes today maybe looking at a Twitter feed or something. This is an excellent feature. So besides that, you can see you've got all these things. You can also add your own shortcuts. So you can come in here, and you can see a couple that are pre-chosen. I'm going to leave photos up. S note, I'll leave that up too for right now. Um, but you can pick anything else you want to easily get into. Maybe use your calculator a lot for some reason. I don't know. Go ahead and put that one on there. And then now you can see it's got the calculator. So these bottom three you can choose, and these ones are preset. All right, pretty sweet. You can also get into settings over here and adjust some of these. So floating icon, you can turn it off. If you don't like that feature, like I was telling you, it's really pointless in my opinion. Um, detach S Pen to turn on. So you got some different things here, some shortcuts and some basic settings here as well. So there's a bunch of different ways to get into the settings. Now, something I want to show you with this that's really neat is going ahead and writing with this with the screen off. This is a really good feature. It makes just too much sense. So we're going to slide the S Pen back in. Do not slide it in backwards if you've heard anything about that story. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That would be bad. So then we're going to turn off the phone. So the screen's blank. And then we're going to detach the S Pen, slide it out, and right here you can actually write on this screen. Uh, sorry about the blur. Um, you can write on the screen right here, which is really cool. So it just automatically opens this up for taking a note. So maybe I need to write down, you know, I don't know, the date or something. You know, 825, and it's actually not even 825, but I'm going to write it down anyway. And, you know, a little squiggly note, call mom or something okay so just for example i can do this and then i can hit save up here and boom it just saved that memo and i didn't even have to power the device up or anything just remove the s pen that is stinking awesome so i'm going to go ahead and unlock it and actually i'll take the s pen out one more time which is eh, pretty easy to get out so then it should be in memos Let's see here. Got to be able to find my uh, my note. I don't know if I'm sure if it's in S notes. It's in S notes. That's where it saves it. All right. So just to make sure we know, and there's my little uh, my little memo right there. So pretty cool, huh? Very easy to use. Very sleek. Awesome that it launches automatically by itself. The fingerprint sensor has got to be another one of my favorite features, and it's just so nice to wake up your phone with a simple press on the home button. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and shut off my device, and basically you just hold your finger, on, push it, and hold your finger there, and voila, boom, powers right up. I got to say, when it comes to the fingerprint security. I like it. I'm not sure, honestly, how secure it is. It's probably pretty secure. It's your fingerprint. But at the same time, um, it, the convenience is just great. It works awesome on my S6, my Note 5, my OnePlus 2. Um, I'm just, I'm assuming all devices eventually are going to have this, and it just makes so much sense. So kudos, good job to whoever came out with that one. I'm loving it.
Last thing I want to cover for you guys today is going to be the camera because it's really impressive. And if you've seen my Galaxy S6 videos uh, with this camera, it's quite awesome. So it does take pictures really, really fast uh, as long as you hit the button correctly. And they are super high quality. So you can see one right here. Here's my little uh, Android guy. Um, just excellent, excellent pictures. Here's a little bit of my uh, camera. You can zoom right in, great detail. I mean, look at that, look at that. Little knob on my tripod. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's just the camera on these Samsung devices are uh, amazing, honestly. Here's my little recorder. I mean, come on. You, you really can't ask for much more than that. That's, that's really, really impressive. So, um, loving the camera. What an amazing, amazing device. Can't wait to see more improvements um, on the next flagship Samsung comes out with. Let's wrap this up. The Note 5 is one solid, amazing, sleek device with some really cool new features. Now, would I get this if I had a Note 4? Honestly, the Note 4 has some key features that I like that the Note 5 does not. So it's really going to be personal preference to whether you want to upgrade to the Note 5 or not. Honestly, I'm really excited to use it. I'm, I'm pumped. I like all the new tech. I like a lot of the new features. The camera's amazing. So I'll definitely be using it. But if you want to upgrade to it, it's kind of up to you. And that's really what it boils down to with any new piece of tech. Is it going to meet your needs? So guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you enjoy this review video here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.